what were some of your early challenges and how did you overcome them? So early challenges, whenever you get started, the challenge is how to get your first client <laughs> and then how do you get your first, your second one. So the first one for us, uh, and I think it's something, so if you ask me now, if I would do things the same way, I absolutely would not. But back then times were different. You know, eight years ago, marketing was very different. You know that better than I do. So back then I would create, I created a, a landing page using Unbounce. And I think I spent a hundred bucks on PPC ads and we got our first client. And that's how we sold our first $3,500 video, uh, which to me was fascinating. Then after that, it was, uh, we turned to YouTube advertising, video ads. We are a video company. We had to do a video ad. We ran YouTube ads. And that worked brilliantly for about two, two and a half years. And that's like a cautionary tale. Never rely on one channel because I remember two years in, in August, we went from getting 50 leads to three leads with the same budget. So we're spending more than $100,000 a year on YouTube ads and every month we would get 50 great leads and that well was dry, dried up really fast and then we were scrambling. So that was our first challenge. And at that point, we got into this cycle of uh, trying to figure out what works. So we tried, I've tried throughout these years, everything, LinkedIn pay ads, other PPC ads, uh, content marketing, uh, SEO, I've hired business experts, sales experts. I've hired staff to do sales. And I have to say nothing really worked. So with many agencies, and I found that now when I'm doing the B2B show, I'm talking to many agencies and they all struggle with the same thing. And sadly, everybody's growing through referrals, uh, which yes, it's a great way to grow. And that's how we've been growing. It's the one thing that's working for us is the land and expand where you land with a big client, either leveraging your existing network, your friends, anybody who knows you, and uh, uh, you have to stay top of mind. So you have to put a lot of content out there so they see what you're doing and they understand what you're doing. And when they need you, they bring you into a large company. And then you say, okay, what other department needs me? Can you refer me to them? Can, you, can I talk to somebody else in your division? And that's how you can grow really well. I think that works still in B2B. That's the primary way to do that. Content stay top of mind, get in a big company, land and expand. Other than that, all the tactics I often hear, and I'm always jealous of the latest tactic. I have to try it. Uh, I have to hire people to do it well because I think that I tried it and it didn't work because of me. And then I learned that it wasn't me. So I've spent, I want to say I've spent a couple of hundred thousand dollars on experts, email marketing, anything. I've tried them all. Yeah. I mean, I think you know, has the, really worked. The interesting thing, KP, is that you know um, we we run some extraordinarily successful campaigns, and then we run some campaigns that don't work. And and the thing that I find, which is really easy to talk about and much harder to put in practice, especially for your own business, for for the same reason that you mentioned, why it's hard for the founder or owner of a business to like market its business, like it lives. It, it sounds really great in my head, but to communicate, it's a whole different thing. It's m missing the strategy. What I find is when campaigns don't work, we immediately have to say, look, the creative needs to change or the landing page needs to change or the messaging needs to change and the messaging needs to change because either you're saying the right thing in the wrong way or you're just saying something that the customer doesn't want or it's not priced the right way. And when you start getting into that realm, you start going into the down the path of or it's actually up the path of like strategy. There's no strategy. Has it been proven that the thing that you want that you are selling and the way you're selling it, is it proven that the customer wants exactly that thing? And all too often, that's the fundamental issue. And it's so incredibly hard to nail. And it's so um, it's such a fleeting concept. And I almost am starting this uh, spot on marketing initiative um, because I want a different business model. I want a business model that allows for the business to grow without or outside of my referral network. It's fascinating. Thank you for listening to this episode of the LA Business Podcast. If you like what we're doing on this podcast, please consider subscribing on Apple or Google Play. 
leaving a five-star review, and sharing with your friends. If you have any questions, comments, or recommendations for a guest you'd like to hear on this podcast, please email me, robert at brillmedia.co. Thank you. Have a fantastic day.